It's time to talk about a little game called Dora Saves the Crystal Kingdom, or as I like to call it, Dora goes straight to the fucking right for 90 minutes, occasionally stopping to waggle so that she can continue to go right. Dora Saves the Crystal Kingdom is developed by High Voltage Software, a company that usually makes pretty high quality licensed games, except for this one and the three other Dora games they made, apparently. This is one of the most painfully dull, soulless games I have ever played, and I would much rather play a painfully frustrating game than this absolute boring, brain-dead mess. I seriously did spend 90 minutes just holding to the right, occasionally pressing the 2 button when an obstacle appeared so that I may waggle, and then moving to the right some more. 10 minutes felt like an eternity. The game also has what it tries to pass for secondary mechanics, like occasionally you'll ride something from one end of a map to another, but you can just literally leave the controller sitting still during these sections and they will play themselves. The only other real attempt at adding variety is that sometimes you will get a new ability that allows you to waggle in a different way than before, but in my experience it doesn't matter how you waggle exactly because the end result is the same and you still pass the obstacle. That's right, you don't even need to waggle differently. Just waggle the same way at every obstacle, it doesn't matter. The game also likes to pretend that you can fail at the missions it gives you, but it's literally impossible to do so. In each level, you're tasked with finding some objects in order to progress to the next level, be it storybook pages, white rabbits, what have you. But they always put at least one of the collectibles in a place where you can't miss it, and even if you only collect one of said collectibles, Dora insists that it's enough to complete the level. So there is no failure state, and it does not matter at all how many you collect. In other words, the game is straight up fucking lying to you. After digging deep into my soul, I could only find two redeeming qualities in this giant shit pile. One of them is that at the end of one stage you jump into a magic hat, and it actually allows for an interesting change of scenery that I wish more of the game had. But the section is over in less than a minute, and the gameplay doesn't actually change during said minute. The only other redeeming quality is a surprisingly well done end credits level, where the credits scroll along with your progression, meaning you can slow down if you want to read some of the credits, or speed up if you don't give a shit who these people are and want to get to someone else. The end credits is also incredibly damning of the game as a whole though, because literally every meaningful game mechanic is used in the end credits, and it shows you how dull and lifeless the platforming in this video game is. I would hesitate to call it a platformer. The thing that pisses me off most about Dora Goes Right isn't even that the game is soulless, useless, and would bore children to tears, it's that it's not educational in the slightest. It lacks any of the spirit of the actual Dora franchise, which really gave a shit about teaching children important things, like basic logic, dialogue comprehension, math, and even some Spanish here and there. The entire idea behind the Dora television show is that it's framed like a video game to encourage to encourage interaction from the children watching. How do you fuck up turning it into an actual video game so bad? You could literally just copy some of the episodes and make them interactive. How did you fuck up so bad? Dora goes right. How did you fuck up so bad? <laughs>